Good morning, psychic medium Danielle Garcia here with your energy forecast for the week. Today is August 10th, 2020. How y'all doing? <laughs> Did you survive last week? Holy crap, that was a lot of crazy energy. I went from varying degrees of happy-go-lucky to crying at every commercial that came on and feeling like I didn't want to get out of bed at all. So the Schumann resonance last week was off the charts. Just crazy, crazy, crazy vibes. Lots of grounding, lots of hydrating, lots of keeping um, things in balance as much as possible. So this week, what do we have to look forward to? Well, guess what? Today, I hate to tell you, Uranus is activated. <laughs> okay, I'll take my mind out of the gutter and um, from being around a teenage boy too long with that kind of teenage boy humor. But yes, Uranus is activated today, meaning the planet Uranus. So what does that mean? Well, if you're a motivated kind of person, this is a great day to take charge and go with the flow, get stuff done. This is going to be your jam today. If you're not so motivated and you're not quite a fan of change, you could find yourself uh, tying into victimhood, tying into the poor me's, tying into what's everyone got against me and why is my life so hard. So if you're feeling any of that today, you know, take a step back. Think about what you can do to change that perspective. Um, I've even had clients have huge success in doing a cord cutting from that energy of victimhood, from that energy of the poor me. And that helps to release it. Also taking a step back, taking some deep breaths, um, doing the exact opposite of what you feel like you want to can actually help switch up the energy. So for instance, last week when it was a big emotional roller coaster for me and I just wanted to hang out in bed, I just found that, you know, oomph, just to, okay, I really want to hang out in bed all day. I really want to eat bonbons all day, but you know what? No, I'm going to get out and I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something that emotionally I don't really feel like doing, but my body really needs. So get out, go for a walk, drink some more water, um, do different things to ground, listen to sound healing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many different things that we can do to change our vibe. And it's so incredibly important as empaths and sensitives that when we get into these situations where the energies coming in could be trying for us, you know, that we realize that and we know that we've got a lot of different tools in our toolbox to handle those types of situations. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm choking on that release. <laughs> Today is also a huge day for crowd mentality. So if you find yourself getting really upset, getting really pissed off, or maybe you're hanging out with a great crowd that's super creative and makes you feel really, really good, um, just be aware that this is a huge day for that. So be very careful what you're plugging into, what you're tapping into, and who you're hanging out with. You know, our social cir circles, our family circles, our peers, our friends, they have big impact on our energy, right? They have a big impact on how we feel about the world, how we feel about ourselves, how we're feeling in general. So it's so important, again, to go within, to ground, to be in your own energy field. So when other things are coming at you, you have the, um, the awareness the train of thought to know, okay, this is my dance space. That's their dance space. I know stuff's going on with them, but that doesn't mean that it has to affect me and how I feel or my mood or even our physicality. Because when emotions and energies are coming out as strong and hard, most definitely we can take the physical hit unless we're doing some type of measure proactively for our energetic and emotional boundaries. Something that I work with every single day and that I teach my clients and my students is called the white light exercise. It involves bringing in the light of your higher self through your crown chakra, anchoring it in your belly, your power center, using your breath to release any negativity, anything that you've absorbed that is not of you or by you, letting that go, clearing yourself, and then pushing your energy field out and around you about five feet in circumference. 
Therefore, you're in your own bubble, if you will, your own cylinder of light. That's when your energetics are the most powerful for you, when you are strongest. So if I'm an empath and I don't have energetic boundaries, when energies of a crowd mentality happen, and let's say it's something that's negative, you know, fear-based, I could be feeling it, feeling it, absorbing it, absorbing it, absorbing it. Next thing you know, my adrenals are firing, right? And my whole body is just going into overdrive, survival mode, survival mode, survival, survival mode. My hydration stores are evacuating my body. I'm becoming super tense. Now my lymph fluid isn't processing completely, or um, not completely, but not efficiently. Now my organs are starting to be, you know, uh, tight within my body because I'm preparing for f- flight or fight. Gee whiz. They're giving it all to me really quick and fast. I'm going to have to ask them to slow it down. <laughs> Your body starts preparing for fight or flight. And you may not even be aware that all of this is going on. You're just absorbing the energies. You're just absorbing the emotions. And your body is reacting to those energies and emotions. So by creating some type of shielding process, creating some type of clearing process, creating some type of energetic boundary process, you'll feel those things, but you'll be feeling them five feet in front of you in your auric field. You're not going to be absorbing them or absorbing the hit of them. And if you're interested in what the white light exercise is, by all means, check it out on YouTube. Just search my name, Danielle Garcia, White Light Exercise, and you'll find it. I put it up there, I don't know, eight, ten years ago, something like that. Listen to it a few times. You'll get the gist of it. I teach kids as young as three to use this method, and I teach them a little mantra that I myself use. White light in, white light down, white light around. After you've done it several times, it's like cellular memory. You say the mantra, you see the visual, boom, clear, shields up, everything's good to go. That's a really important thing to work on this week. Energetic boundaries and emotional boundaries because there's lots of stuff coming in. Lionsgate portal is still open until the 12th. Again, I think that's part of the emotional issues that were coming forward last week, at least for me. Lots of stuff, um, lots of different reactions that you could have from high, high highs to low, low lows. Lots of people were reporting sleep disturbances, Um, headaches, body aches, uh, flu-y kind of symptoms, which kind of suck, seeing as we're in the midst of a pandemic. So then you could go off the deep end and think, oh no, do I have the corona? Do I have COVID? What is it? What is it? Um, Yeah, you know, you should obviously pay attention to different physical signs. But being an empath myself, I can tell you the majority of my physical issues that I encounter tend to be energetically driven or tend to be emotionally driven. And when we don't take a look at that, okay, that was interesting. I just saw a little orb right over this shoulder. I wonder if any of you saw that or if that's just me. (laughs) That's a first. So uh, back to that train of thought. Um, You know, we should always check into to the physical issues that are going on, but to take a step back and see and ask, okay, is this energetic? Is this emotional? Have I cleared? Have I taken a salt bath? Have I balanced my chakras? Have I written a letter and burned it? Am I holding anything in that I feel I haven't expressed that could be causing physical distress for me? You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot to that. I don't believe that there is any illness or dis-ease that isn't caused by emotion or energetics. You know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but I have had a lot of experience with this. And I have helped a lot of people through different things like this. So Wednesday, the 12th, Lionsgate Portal, last day open. What's coming along with that? Ooh, a meteor shower. So Wednesday is going to be a super, super charged day. You know, Lionsgate has also activated past life issues, whether that's powerful stuff from past lives or whether it's things that we need to clear from past lives. It is about empowerment. It is about who you are, where you are on your path, figuring out your mission and your purpose. So think about from now until Wednesday, really concentrating on, okay, what am I, what do I need to let go of? What is my main purpose here? What is my mission? Am I on the right path? And if you're not, kudos, 
you figured it out. You get a choice. You can switch lanes at any time you so choose. So really dig in deep. Start thinking about those different things about life. It's very easy to get distracted now with all the different energies going on. And that can pull us off of our spiritual path. Those things that have waylaid us, being affected by the pandemic, being affected by fear, being affected by politics, you know, they can pull off, pull us off of our standard spiritual practice of meditation, of prayer, of going for a walk, of um, reading, you know, uplifting books, talking to like-minded people, whatever that might be. So don't allow this to pull you off your path. Really dig in deep and see where you stand utilize that energy of lion's gate portal especially on wednesday when things are just going to be you know off the charts this week we're also looking at release there's always release going on right so along with release it's going to activate things many people may experience healing crises going on you may experience aggression you may experience um, a pull towards addictions current addictions or prior addictions it could be that last little thing, oh, you thought you were done with it, and now suddenly it's in your face and staring at you. So be aware of that. Heightened emotions, again, just because of the placements of the planets and the Schumann resonance, and as always, there's stuff going on in the universe, right? <laughs> I'm ready for everything to be out of retrograde and just <sighs> take a pause. But, you know, if that happened, we wouldn't evolve, right? Uranus will go into retrograde on the 15th. Lots of masculine energy coming in. This is also a great time to clean and organize, sort out, release, donate to Goodwill, um, pass those clothes down to a family member, a friend, donate it to a homeless shelter. Lots of different energies going on in regards to purging. So if you get a little bit overwhelmed this week, what is that one thing for you? What's one thing that is constant that you can always, always, always count on? Consider that your lifeline. Identify that one thing and hold on to it. Whether that's your faith, that's your friend, that's your family member, that's your spirit, that's your practice, that's your music, whatever that is, remember that one thing this week. So I'm gonna pull some cards. This week I'm pulling from the Integration Cards by Diane Garris. Love, love, love her work. And I always like to use different uh, decks just to familiarize you, you all with them. So let's see what comes forward. Ooh, the Will card, okay? So here is the Will card. This is all about being within your will. Okay. Sometimes will is motivation. Sometimes will can be ego. Sometimes will can be abrasive. It's that, you know, are you fighting against your own will? Is your own will fighting against that wall that you keep hit banging your head up against time and time again? So think about doing an ego check this week. If you feel like you're not getting anywhere and if you feel like the whole world is against you, check your ego. Where's it at? Are you going with the flow? Is this, is this something that, yeah, you know what? I need to dig my heels in and I need to stand up for what I believe in. Think about your will. Do an ego check. The next card, ooh, a beautiful mandala. Gut feelings. I'm all about gut feelings, honey. This is all about checking with intuition, checking in with your gut, where is it at, cutting off not cutting off but stepping away from everyone else and just focusing in on your own energy how do i feel about the situation what is my truth not what my friend believes not what my family member believes not what my colleague believes not what i'm told to believe but what is my belief about it what is my truth and the last card creation what a beautiful, beautiful card. You know, as you come into balance, as you realize your own energy, your own truth, your own beliefs, I guess I'm going to pull another card here because the deck just fell off, off of my um, part of my desk. Um, creation, creative energy. 
as you become more defined in who it is, what your mission, what your purpose is, you'll have more energy, you'll be more focused, you'll be more intent on what it is you wish to create. Manifestation is huge, huge, huge this week. So think about what you're creating, both in your mind, your body, your soul, your emotional field, your energetic field. And the last card is the Connections card. This one just kind of popped out of the deck. So I'm going to include it in this spread. Connections. What are you plugging into? Who are you hanging out with? Who are you listening to? It really, really, really makes an impact on all of us. So with those thoughts in mind, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed, peaceful, healing, expressive week. Take care.